The first accused person in the Adams Mahama trial, Gregory Afuku, has expressed outrage at the decision by the Attorney General to file a nolle prosequi at the High Court only to restart the process with an additional suspect. Gregory Afuku angrily spoke out after a hearing at the District Court in Accra where he was rearranged alongside the second suspect, Asabke Alandi, who was arrested in Ivory Coast after hiding for nearly a year. This man was there. Four two witnesses should go. And you are still polishing those lies. Who can you say that on Uyoko? No, Uyoko knows this woman by the name of Uyoko. They are wicked. They are wicked. We haven't done nothing. I have no plan with this boy to do anything. Why do you treat me like this? Meanwhile, family of Gregory Afoko has expressed disappointment over the decision of the Attorney General to file a nolle prosequa in the matter involving their son and brother in the case. According to the family, they were optimistic of the accused being vindicated if the Attorney General had continued the case. To them, the processes characterizing the filing of the nolle prosequa raises suspicions of a deliberate attempt by some powers to make Gregory guilty of an offense he has not committed. Let's get to the Western Region now, and the Western Regional Police is yet to prosecute a health worker who allegedly bit the lower lip of a hairdresser, Beatrice Japon, at Takradi. The victim has since undergone plastic surgery at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Beatrice Japon was attacked by one Clara at Tim Perry when he, she accepted a lift from the latter's partner. The suspect was arrested and released on police inquiry bail. Speaking to City News, the Western Regional Police Command PRODSP Olivia Adiku said the police is waiting for the victim to recover before prosecution. Uh, the, state, the state of the case as at now, when the lady was talked to last week, she said that they've done the surgery and she would be uh, discharged today. So I'm sure definitely by tomorrow uh, the officers will get in touch with them. Then uh, we move the case ahead. We stay with matters of the law and lawyer for the woman who was assaulted by a police officer at a Midland Savings and Loans office in Accra has rejected reports that his client discontinued the case because she was not interested and thus failed to appear in court to testify. According to him, the victim, Patience Osafu, throughout the trial period, received only one invitation which she could not justifiably honor but was not invited again. Samson Anye Nini believes the discontinuation of the case was a calculated attempt by the police service to cover up their own who assaulted the victim. The lawyer said Patience could not honor the first invitation to the court because she was taking care of her sick sister in Kumase. Turning our attention to the legislature, the Speaker of Parliament has referred a case of contempt of Parliament brought against a Central Member of Parliament, Kennedy Japon, to the Privileges Committee of the House. This is the second time Kennedy Japon has been dragged to the committee in recent times over comments deemed harmful to the reputation of Parliament. In this instance, Minority Chief Whip Mutaka Mubarak, who was the architect of a previous invitation of his colleague to the committee, called on the Speaker to refer the member to the Privileges Committee for comments made regarding the Sling Tiger Eye investigator Ahmed Swali months before his death. There is more in the following report. On the first day of sitting, the minority kicked the storm of controversy by dragging a Sin Central MP. Kennedy and Japong to the Privileges Committee of Parliament once again for comments made before the death of Tiger IPI investigator Ahmed Swali. Minority Chief Whip Muntaka Mubarak said the comments were in contempt of the House and Majority Leader supported the call for the matter to be sent to the Privileges Committee before the Speaker subsequently made the referral. Meanwhile, a central member of parliament, Kenny Japong, in an interview on the BBC's Focus on Africa program, denied his alleged involvement in the death of Ahmed Swali. I never offered a reward for him to be beaten or killed. When I said I have pictures of Anas and Ahmed and Ghanaians were doubting me, I gave them time that I was going to show the video. There are a lot of videos that I have on Anas through my investigation. So when I went to my office and showed the pictures to them, then they said, oh, honorable, don't you know this guy? Even 2012, he was here and you he paid his school fees. So well, I don't know him. Then they said, 
He has been coming to the premises all the time. I said, no. Don't allow the guy to come to this premises again. When you see him here, beat him up because he's a bad boy. If you have never been on a train and are in the capital, you have an opportunity now. And an opportunity seems to have arrived. As earlier today, numerous commuters were treated to a free train ride from Accra to Tema and back. Now, according to the Ghana Railway Company Limited, the six-carry train, which has the capacity to carry 600 passengers, will, for the next two weeks, offer free rides to commuters. City News' Michael Obudu was aboard this morning's train and reports. The train set off earlier today at about 8.30 a.m. from the Accra train station to the Tema Community 1 railway station and back for its first test trip after it ceased operations in October 2017. The Railway Authority blamed the delay in resuming operations on the activities of encroachers, but finally today, the train set off on its first trip following numerous postponed resumption dates. Let's get some other stories. And the Economic and Organized Crimes Office, Yoko, has secured a court order to freeze landed properties and vehicles of men's good CEO Nana Apia Mensa, popularly known as Nam One. In a statement signed by the head of public affairs at Yoko, Jacqueline Avotri, all employees of the affected companies, relatives and friends in possession of any of the said properties are to surrender it to the Yoko headquarters or its regional offices. He further called on the general public to assist Yoko by giving out relevant information to retrieve the vehicles and properties of the said companies. Here is the contents of the letter read by my colleague Hansen Ajman. The Economic and Organized Crime Office has secured a court order confirming the freezing of landed properties and vehicles of Men's Good Ghana Limited, Men's Good Office Complex, Xylophone Art Complex, Brew Marketing Consult, Star Madrid Football Club, Xylophone Music and Media Company Limited, Brew Energy Company Limited, Gentech Automobile Service, two properties located at Trasaco Valley, that's plot number 315 and plot number 337, plot of land number 54 near Oak Street, Trasaco Valley, uncompleted residence, 510 acres of land. Now, in some politics, the New Patriotic Party is poised for victory in the Ayawaso West Wogan by election, which comes off on Thursday. The by election was triggered by the death of its MP, Emmanuel Ejako, last December. Speaking at a rally, President Akufado urged residents to vote massively for the NPP's candidate to honor the late MP. <laughs> When I know Ninemu and Nemco for Casa, no fire, no fire, Munina Munido, that is about primaries, no one Breno, or to Abama Manigidi, Abama to one primary, no, Sanayawa Danso, Yanto and Manapete, Pete, Nanya, the Brave, 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 the